Alerts are a great way of providing your viewers with instant gratification for when they follow or subscribe or throw biddies or, uh, or tip you. And it's kind of an expectation nowadays when you start streaming to have a basic alert service. I use streamlabs.com and one of you guys asked about setting up alert variations. I figure, why haven't we done that yet? So this video is about doing just that. It's gonna be a basic tutorial, assuming you already know a little bit about streamlabs.com, but don't worry, I'm gonna tell you about all the basics and you guys are smart, you're gonna be able to figure it out no problem. With a little bit of time investment, you're gonna in instantly enhance the content that you provide your viewers. And of course, guys, I'm your host, Norgaz. This is the Twitch Insight Series. Welcome back, where we talk about Twitch tips Twitch news, and we break down the affiliate program into sections based on your feedback. And of course, guys, this is a video all about setting up sub alert variations. It's going to be based upon your subscriber badge. It's, I'm going to show you how to do it based on your subscriber badges, which is what I do, but you can set it up based on whatever uh, imagery and so on and so forth you want to do. Just make sure it, you know, it, it abides by the Twitch terms of service. Also, that right there was drawn by It's Half Pint. That is my, he is my artwork and graphic designer. And of course, guys, if you want to see more from him, I'll give you links below. Um, most of the content that I have is drawn and designed by him. So again, if you want to see more about that, links will be provided below. This is Streamlabs.com alert section for subscriptions. The way that you would get here, once you set up your account, you go down to widgets on the left side and click on alert box, go down to where you see the subscriptions tab and click on that. And of course, this is all assuming you already have your basic subscription set, your basic subscription alert set up. So how you add your different pictures and gifts and stuff like that, as you can see, some of these are actually motion uh, gifts. Click on, you can either drag and drop the file just as easy as that or you can drag and drop and drag and upload or excuse me you can click that box and you can actually browse for it i prefer to browse just like to look and click and know what i'm going getting into you know what i'm saying it's just me though uh you can provide up to one gigabyte of data on here apparently so that's actually quite a bit of of space to do things with so when you want to set up your alert variations after you've already got your basic one set up you go down here and you're gonna have alert variations we click on that to bring it down. Ignore all of these options. These are things I've already set up. When you first get started, add alert variation, default or current settings. Those are the two buttons you're gonna have. I just use current settings because it's a little bit easier. You've already got your, your sound volume set up, your alert duration, your, your text and everything. So the only thing we're gonna be changing is the media. So assuming we wanted to do our three month sub badge, we're gonna click on it here and then we're, don't click copy URL. I don't think there's any reason for that. Click select, boom, image has been changed. We need to change the, the name of this. So three month subscriber. And then the conditions are gonna be changing. Month subscribed is at least, and months is the variation. Number of months is gonna pop up in the next bar and you type in three or however many you want. Uh, this is setting up for three months. And you can change the message, you can change the animation, however you want it to be. And of course you can click save. Now this part section is gonna be also, it's gonna be the basic uh, message that you set up you can change that to has resubbed or has recommitted or whatever it is that you want to set it up to um, or has promoted just a couple of ideas you know free tidbits for me um, and you're going to click save and then bada bing bada boom right away you can click test and vroom, right there you've got the test it's done it's all set up so once you get that the, it's easy to make the six and twelve months you just duplicate that one um you click on change media, you change it to your silver or your gold badge or whatever it is for you guys. Uh, that's what mine are. And then you save them respectively. And then you're going to get what I have, which is already these over here. Uh, the three month, the six month. I forgot I have my headset <laughs> open on my desk. And of course, there's that one. There you go. All right, so three, six, 12 months respectively. And that's how you set up your alert variations, guys. So hopefully you were able to see this clearly. I am zoomed in a little bit. And depending on the resolution of your monitor, you may or may not see the layout exactly the same. It may be, you know, a little bit, you may have more room to work with on, on the actual webpage based on your own experiences. So guys, that just about does it. I'm your host, Norgaz. Like, dislike. Throw a subscribe button down on your way out. Come back and see us again for more regular updates on the Twitch Insight series on how to improve your content and things that are of value to you as a streamer. Thank you guys for choosing me as your source of entertainment and information. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.